Hey guys, this is me Charlie. Today is May 15, 2012 and today I'm sharing with you the nest box that I use for my button quills. This is one that I took out of the cage and I cleaned as best as I can. It's a little bit dirty still inside but um, <clears throat> I'll scrub the outside. And um, this is a nest box that's kind of shaped like a rabbit nest box or a chicken nest box. And see it's got a little lip there. This is about maybe two inches. And the height for this is about six inches. Um, let me get close up. And the top is about six inches. The front is about five and a half um, this way, and six this way, and six this way. And the way this is put together is by screws just drilled in. And. Um, Let's see right there. The plywood is very thin. It's If you take a pencil and you lay it across this plywood, it is about this thick. So that's how thick the plywood should be. This is lightweight. It's dirty inside, so you have to excuse them. Even though I scrubbed it, but it's still dirty. I've still got to keep on scrubbing it. You just put some nesting material in here, and then you can go ahead and grab your eggs every time you grab eggs out of here. And this works perfect. Three button quills will sleep in this. Um, but a bunch of hens will actually continue to lay their eggs in this. So this is what I got at a bird show about five years ago, and I regret not getting more of them. I only got two, and so I regret not getting more, so I'm just going to have to build some. These are really easy to build. So if you guys have any questions about nest boxes, um, leave a comment below, rate the video if you'd like, subscribe for upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, one more thing. Um, this is probably a little tight for a Caternix quail. Um, you could try it, but it's mainly for button quails. This is specifically made for just button quails. It's not made for any other breed of bird. You could also put diamond doves. Diamond doves will actually make their nest. Um, they'll just put their nest in there. Uh, here's a glass cup. Gives you an idea how big it is. See? And so, it's mainly for a button quail. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, I just wanted to add real quickly that if you end up um, using this nest box, when you put the nesting material in there, you'll notice that the it, eggs are so much cleaner to be able to grab them. So this is pine chips, and then you can just go ahead and grab your little button quail egg. If you decide to use Caterna quails, um, this is what their eggs would look like in here. So, I think a hen could fit in there fine, but it's a little tight, but maybe. I need to collect the eggs. Just like a little chicken nest box. But look at the small little button quill eggs. That would be so much better. I've actually had um, this entire box filled with button quills um, eggs before. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but they were kind of broody, so they didn't any eggs. Okay, just wanted to add this on. I just stuck the nest box in there and already the two hens went in very quickly. I can see my cinnamon. Actually, no, that's my silver. That's my silver tuxedo. <coughs> Telling that white hen and that cinnamon tuxedo hen to get in. <laughs> You're so pretty. He's like, come on, girls, get in. All right.